uselessness is not enough to free us. Understanding that there is no true security is the first step to freedom. We strive incessantly to preserve the past or anxiously throw ourselves into the future. But we forget a fundamental truth. Only the present exists. The future is an illusion. Tomorrow is a promise that never materializes because time lives in the eternal now. When we silence our internal dialogues and cease the whirlwind of thoughts, we discover the beauty of the present and eternal, now that seeks no place, has no destination or permanence, but is the stage of our entire existence when we turn inward, seeking the self that knows this moment we find that it is like the past, fleeting, and unreachable you and I are as much a part of the physical universe as a wave is part of the ocean. It should be obvious that Seeing security in a constantly changing universe is a paradox. Security, in fact, means isolation, but it is the feeling of isolation that makes us feel lonely and afraid. The desire for security and the feeling of insecurity are two sides of the same coin. Understanding this frees us from the illusion that we can control the uncontrollable true security comes from recognizing that deep down we seek to secure something eternal within us but in striving for this permanence, we confront the reality that the core we try to protect may not be as concrete as we imagine the understanding that there is no absolute security is only achieved when we realize that the self is a construction and illusion. By becoming aware of the present, we realize that experience is all that exists. There is no self separate from the experience there is. No moment. Beyond now listening to music. Feeling joy or fear requires full and undivided attention. When we label these experiences, we lose the essence of the experience. Fear, pain, sadness become insoluble problems when we do not understand them in their entirety. True understanding requires a unified and undivided mind to escape the heat of suffering. We must dive into the center of the flame names likewise. The way out of our personal lies in directly confronting our fears. Our pains running from fear perpetuates fear. Fighting pain intensifies pain. The attempt to be brave is in fact a form of music. Fear. We do not oppose the flow of life. The only place where we can truly feel the flow of life is in the now. Surrender means accepting the present moment without reservations. It is letting go of internal Resistance to what is internal resistance occurs when we say no to what is through our mental judgment and emotional negativity. This is especially sacred when things are not going well. What this means is that there is a space between the rigid demands or expectations of our mind and reality as it is. This space is the space of suffering. If you have lived long enough, you surely know that things often do not go as Planned it is precisely in these moments that surrender must be practiced if we want to eliminate suffering and sadness from our lives. Accept whatever the present moment contains, accept it as if you had chosen it. This acceptance of what is immediately frees us from identification with the mind and reconnects us with being surrendering to existence is a purely internal phenomenon. Notice how the mind classifies this moment and how this process of classification, this constant judgment, creates unhappiness by observing the mechanisms of the mind, you distance yourself from its resistance patterns, and can then allow the present moment to be, this will give you a glimpse of an inner state free from external conditions, a state of true and profound peace, this exact moment. Now is the only thing, from which you can never escape the only constant factor in your life. Whatever happens. No matter how much your life changes, one thing is certain, it is always now. If you cannot escape the now, embrace it and treat it well. The more you surrender and live in the now, the more you will feel the simple and profound joy of being and the sacredness of life. Align yourself with the now, always work with it, not against it. Make it a friend and an ally, not an enemy and miraculously it will transform your entire life. There is untapped power in the simple act of breathing, of feeling the air entering and leaving your lungs. This reconnects you to the now, to the essence of life. 
Breathing can be your anchor bringing you back to the present moment, to the here and now. Where life truly happens, breathe deeply. Feel that you are here and that this is what really matters. Remember that each breath is a new opportunity to start over. You do not need to wait for a new day, a new week, or a new year to change the course of your life. Each present moment carries the seed of renewal and rebirth. Embrace this truth with courage and let it guide your actions. Allow yourself to be fluid, adaptable, open to the change and transformation that the now offers. Life in its essence is made of moments, some light, others challenging. Accepting this without resistance, embracing each experience with gratitude, is to embrace the totality of your being and existence. Be present for the small miracles of everyday life. A child's smile, the glow of the sunset, the smell of wet earth after the rain. These are reminders that despite all our pursuits and yearnings, the beauty of life unfolds in simple gestures in fleeting moments that often go unnoticed to achieve happiness. The secret is simple. Forget yourself. However, the more you try to get rid of your own shadow, the more it seems to cling to you. If you seek to escape pain, you will realize that in the attempt to flee the agony only intensifies. Fear paralyzes you, and the desire for courage turns into fear, itself trying to escape your essence puts you in a vicious cycle, especially in the form of constant worry. We recognize the futility of worry, but we continue to sink into it because acknowledging its uselessness is not enough to free us. Understanding that there is no true security is the first step to freedom. We strive incessantly to preserve the past or anxiously throw ourselves into the future, but we forget a fundamental truth only the present exists. The future is an illusion. Tomorrow is a promise that never materializes because time lives in the eternal. Now when we silence our internal dialogues and cease the whirlwind of thoughts, we discover the beauty of the present, an eternal, now that seeks no place, has no destination or permanence, but is the stage of our entire existence when we turn inward, seeking the self that knows this moment, we find that it is like the past fleeting and unreachable you and I are as much a part of the physical universe as a wave is part of the ocean. It should be obvious that seeking security in a constantly changing universe is a paradox. Security, in fact, means isolation, but it is the feeling of isolation that makes us feel lonely and afraid. The desire for security and the feeling of insecurity are two sides of the same coin understanding. This frees us from the illusion that we can control the uncontrollable. True security comes from recognizing that deep down, we seek to secure something eternal within us. But in striving for this permanence, we confront the reality that the core we try to protect may not be as concrete as we imagine. The understanding that there is no absolute security is only achieved when we realize that the self is a construction and illusion. By becoming aware of the present, we realize that experience is all that exists. There is no self separate from the experience. There is no moment beyond the now listening to music. Feeling joy or fear requires full and undivided attention. When we label these experiences, we lose the essence of the experience. Fear, pain, sadness become insoluble problems when we do not understand them in their entirety. True understanding requires a unified and undivided mind to escape the heat of suffering. We must dive into the center of the flames. Likewise, the way out of our personal lives lies in directly confronting our fears. Our pains running from fear perpetuates fear. Fighting pain intensifies pain. The attempt to be brave is in fact a form of fear when we accept that there is no escape. From pain. That the mind and pain are inseparable, we begin to live consciously. This acceptance does not require someone to feel or resist. It is simply being present in the experience. True freedom is understood when we realize that the thinker and the thought are one. There is no separation between the human being and the world between the self and the experience. This understanding dissipates conflict, tension, 
and frustration recognizing that the mind and the world are inseparable life. Flows. In harmony, an eternal division ceases, and each moment is fully experienced, bringing a sense of completeness and fulfillment. Living fully in the now teaches us to savor each experience, whether of pleasure or pain. This understanding reveals the purpose of our existence. The reason why the universe brought us to consciousness. All creation, all space-time and change exist for this moment. Life does not need future justification. It justifies itself in the now. Understanding that the dance of life does not aim to reach a final destination liberates us. We do not play a symphony to reach the last note. We play to live each note, each movement. The mind that seeks to escape itself, that drowns in its own turbulence, suffers unnecessarily. By understanding that we are not separate from our experience, that the human being in the present moment are one, Confusion and turmoil are transcended, sanity and integration arise from the understanding that division is an illusion. Being fully aware of the now is the only reality. Everything else is trying to reach the unreachable. You are an integral part of the cosmos, a wave in the ocean of existence. The security, happiness, and peace you seek are within you in the warm embrace of the present. Accept this invitation to dance to the rhythm of the now and discover the freedom that comes from freeing yourself from the shackles of the past and the anxieties about the future. Face each moment with the full awareness that you are an inseparable part of this vast and mysterious universe. There is no separation between you and the present moment. You are an entity experiencing the dance of existence. Allow yourself to be carried by the current of life without resistance. Find comfort in the unknown, knowing that each uncertain step is part of a larger choreography that you are destined to perform. Confront your fears with the certainty that they are mere spectators of your journey. They have no power. To stop your progress unless you grant them that power when worry knocks at your door. Remember that it is a visitor that does not need to be invited in. Acknowledge its presence, but do not allow it to take up the sacred space of your inner peace. Imagine yourself as a leaf carried by the river of life. Sometimes the river may seem turbulent, other times calm, but the leaf continues its journey, confident in the current that carries it, Often we find ourselves lost in a sea of thoughts, in an endless quest for more, forgetting the simplicity and joy of simply existing. Understand with all your being that the present is the only time we truly possess. Make this moment the now, the central axis of your existence. The next time you move from one point to another, challenge yourself to observe and listen to everything around you. Without judging or overthinking, free yourself from the need to name each experience and catalog everything you perceive. Instead, just see and listen. Yes, it is possible to break the habit of constantly labeling and judging the world around us when we accept what is. We access a deeper layer of ourselves in this state. Our inner peace no longer depends on mental evaluations of what is good or bad, saying, yes. To what life presents accepting the present moment as it is leads us to experience profound inner peace. This moment the now has always been and always will be complete in itself. Suffering and sadness arise from the belief that all thoughts crossing our minds are indisputable truths. It is not the situations themselves that generate unhappiness, but our thoughts about these situations. It is the internal dialogue. The stories we tell ourselves that plunge us into dissatisfaction, recognizing yourself as the being beyond thoughts. The silence that prevails, despite the mental noise, is the first step towards freedom, salvation, enlightenment. The ego often deceives us seeking energy outside of us, ignoring that the true source of strength resides within each one of us by freeing yourself from excessive thinking. You will see life. Transform by letting go of the compulsion to label every aspect of existence you open yourself to the present moment in a new way, allowing presence to take the place of the conceptual constructs of the self. Simplicity becomes the norm and the need to be special disappears giving way to authenticity. 
The true essence of meditation lies in stillness, in the ability to perceive the spaces between words. One of the most valuable achievements in life is the ability to remain silent. This silence is the full presence of an attentive being who sees and hears without needing to add anything more. This practice awakens the true intelligence within you, one that is not disturbed by external chaos. Let your inner calm be the light that guides your words and actions. When we surrender to silence, we reconnect with who we were. Before assuming this physical and mental form, we call a person curiously, it is who we will continue to be, even when this physical form dissolves, acceptance and surrender become naturally easier when you realize that all experiences are transitory and that nothing in this world can offer you something of eternal value by accepting and surrendering you do not stop meeting people engaging in experiences and activities, but you do so without the desires and fears of the self-centered ego. You learn not to demand that situations, people, or places fulfill your needs or bring you happiness by accepting the inherent imperfection in everything. Paradoxically, you find that everything becomes more satisfying, harmonious, and peaceful. There are moments when no answer or explanation seems sufficient. Life, at certain times, may seem meaningless, or you may find yourself in situations where someone desperately seeks your help, and you feel unable to offer any solution in these moments. Fully accepting that you do not have all the answers allows you to let go of the internal struggle. This opens space for a greater intelligence which flows beyond limited thought to inspire and guide your actions and words being at. Peace with the unknown is essential to receiving answers and insights. When you cease internal resistance, you allow a consciousness free from conditioning infinitely greater than the human mind to express itself through you. Thus, when we stop resisting, we often find that things begin to improve, almost as if by magic right action emerges from a state of right. Consciousness, for this to happen, it is essential to set the ego aside recognizing yourself as something beyond form, be it thought or emotion, and seeing yourself as the space of consciousness allows for profound transformation. Now observe this exact moment. Notice how the mind rushes to judge, categorize, and how this constant judgment is the source of much pain and unhappiness. By observing the mind in action, you distance yourself from habitual patterns of resistance allowing the present moment to simply be. This offers a glimpse of an inner state free from external conditions, a state of true and profound peace. Accept this moment exactly as it is surrender to it not to a narrative you create in your mind. Surrendering is renouncing the desire to understand everything and being at peace with not knowing this surrender profoundly. Alters the perception you have of yourself, the self ceases to identify with mental reactions and judgments transforming into a space around them. Open yourself to this consciousness free from conditioning. Maintain inner calm then allow life to flow freely and effortlessly. You as a being endowed with rich inner life have the ability to face any challenge that comes your way. Remember that each obstacle carries with. It a lesson and invitation to overcome and to personal growth. See each difficulty as an opportunity to strengthen your resilience and expand your understanding of yourself and the world around you. The now is the only moment we truly have at our disposal. Attachment to the past or worries about the future are common sources of dissatisfaction and anxiety by centering your attention in the present. You embrace life as it presents itself free from expectations and prejudices. This is the key to unlocking a fuller and more meaningful existence. Ask yourself deep questions, ones that invite introspection and exploration of deeper layers of your consciousness. In this space of inquiry, we often find clarity direction and a sense of purpose that transcends the superficialities of everyday life. You are a being of light, capable of transcending the limitations imposed by the mind and the ego by focusing on the present, embracing inner stillness and cultivating an attitude of openness and acceptance. You align with the flow of life. 
finding peace and contentment in the simplest manifestations of existence. The essence of meditation is continuous mindfulness and uninterrupted vigilance of the processes of the body feelings. Mind and mental objects, continuity is the secret of success. The meditator must strive to remain attentive night and day at every moment, and thus he can quickly develop concentration in wisdom, the type of concentration referred to in the Eightfold Path as right, great concentration or perfect concentration is the concentration developed from moment to moment, only memento moment. Concentration. Following the path of mindfulness leads to the destruction of impurities. The essential thing is that the meditator maintains continuous mindfulness of sensations and sustains this attention in all postures, concentrated on sensation contact and awareness from moment to moment. While standing, the meditator should be attentive to the sensation resulting from the contact of the feet, with the ground if walking he should make an effort to observe the changing sensation at each moment on the sole of the moving foot, while lying down, attention should be directed to the sensation of the places where the body touches the mat. This concentration must be continuous as much as possible in all postures in the present moment. We must be attentive to all sensations that manifest in us through the Six doors of the senses, eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and the base of mental senses. Whenever there is contact through any of these six doors with any object we experience, a sensation. Watch carefully. This subtle sensation that arises from the mind, do not let mindfulness stray from the sensation. Now all the sense doors will become part of the meditation. At first, sounds will be heard normally. Then they will be perceived as sensations in the eardrum. Finally, with strong concentration and mindfulness sounds, will be noticed as bodily sensations, as sensations that arise and cease at the base of the heart. In an even more subtle way, the other senses will be drawn into the meditation. Eventually, taste, smell, and sight will be perceived as changing. Sensations first in the organ of perception, and then at the base of the heart. Focusing on the sensation as the senses arise at all the sense doors is the key to practice. This will lead to the end of attachment and liberation. The meditator must focus on perceiving how the sensation arises and how the mental consciousness perceives all things through continuous and accurate awareness of sensations. We will perceive impermanence in all movements. We will see how the body arises and ceases at every moment when we recognize the body as impermanent feelings, will also be seen as impermanent, and we will be able to recognize how thought changes. At every moment thought arises but passes quickly. Memories and plans will also pass, expanding. This insight, the meditator will realize that all factors of the mind are impermanent. With each moment of clear attention you will see the process of arising and passing away of experience as the strength of mindfulness in the present moment clearly penetrates the sensation of being. We will recognize the inner mind when the inner mind is seen. It is seen as a cluster of many impermanent things. Then the sense of solidity or of a self is broken, and the feeling of the emptiness of self is established. This destroys the myth of individuality, and thus the other characteristics of existence become equally clear. The practitioner should aim to closely observe all the factors of the mind arising and ceasing as continuously as possible. This is very difficult for the average person. Therefore, they do not see the truth in themselves. Only when the meditator has sufficient concentration and mindfulness will the true characteristics of the inner body be revealed. We are solely formed by the five aggregates they are form sensation, perception, mental formation, and consciousness. The five aggregates constitute what we conventionally call men and women. By contemplating the feeling that arises from mental contact, we will directly understand the five aggregates and see how they are always arising and ceasing. Then the statement all aggregates are impermanent will become clear to the meditator they will see that all composed things are impermanent whether they are internal or external, animated or inanimate, visible or invisible. 
When this is seen and understood, the meditator will destroy the need for attachment. They will then experience the noble path that destroys impurities and the illusion of self. Ultimately, the meditator will realize how all five aggregates arise and cease at every moment. This direct experience of the flow of aggregates is the truth of the Buddha, when the mind is sufficiently purified, concentrated, and balanced. The meditator will perceive the entire world, all six senses, as a sensation at the base of the heart. Then the whole world will be seen as varied and impermanent vibrations. This is the natural result of the development of proper meditation. Finally, the meditator will experience the peace beyond birth and death. Nirvana. It is very important that we take advantage of the opportunity we have in this life to practice. There is only one way to end suffering. We must practice to develop this practice. We only need faith and seriousness. Unhappiness is created whenever you are misaligned with the present moment. All negativity is caused by an accumulation of psychological time and the denial of the present discomfort, anxiety, tension, stress, and worry. All forms of fear are caused by too much future and not enough presence. Guilt, regret, resentment, grievances, sadness, bitterness, and all forms of non-forgiveness are caused by too much past and not enough presence. Concentrating your attention on the now is not denying what is necessary in your life, but recognizing what is priority, see what is priority, and make the now your friend, not your enemy. Acknowledge this moment, respect this moment. When the now is the foundation in the main focus of your life, it flows with ease. So do not resist the present moment. Break the old pattern of denial and resistance to the present moment. Make it a practice to stop concentrating your attention on the past. And the future, whenever they are not necessary in everyday life, step out of the temporal dimension as much as possible. If you find it difficult to enter the now, directly start by observing the habitual tendency of the mind to want to escape the now. You will see that the future is generally imagined as better or worse than the present. If the imagined future is better, it gives you hope, if it is worse, it creates anxiety in both circumstances. It is an illusion. If you are not living this moment, you are not really living. The now is the only place where life can be found. Feel life in your body. This roots. You in the now. At first glance, the present moment seems like just one among countless moments in your life. Each day seems to consist of thousands of moments in which the most diverse events occur. But if you look more deeply, you will. Discover that there is only one moment. This exact moment now is the only thing you can never escape. It is the only constant factor in your life. Whatever happens, no matter how much your life changes, one thing is certain. It is always now. If it is not possible to escape the now, why not embrace it and treat it well? When you become friends with the present moment, when you establish a good relationship with it. You are always comfortable in any situation, but when you are not comfortable in the now, you carry discomfort wherever you go. Now observe this moment. Try not to project into the future and do not resist this present moment. Do not seek peace. Do not look for another state other than the current one. Otherwise, you will create internal conflict and unconscious resistance. Forgive yourself for not being at peace. The moment you fully accept your non-peace, it transforms into peace. Anything you fully accept will take you. There will take you to peace. That is the miracle of surrender. This present moment is, as it is the now is as it is, because it cannot be otherwise. If you can accept this moment as it is, it will give you a glimpse of the inner state that is free from external conditions, the state of true deep peace as mind and resistance mean the same to us. Accepting what happens instantly frees us from the domination of the mind and reestablishes our connection with being. As a result, the usual ego motivations to act such as fear, greed, control, defense, or feeding the false sense of ego will no longer work when we fully accept the moment when we do not oppose what is the compulsion to think loosens being replaced by an awaken. Serenity we find ourselves fully aware, yet the mind is not labeling the moment. 
This state of inner non-resistance opens the doors to unconditioned consciousness, which is infinitely greater than the human mind. This vast intelligence can then express itself through us and help us both internally and externally. Thus, when we abandon inner resistance, we often discover that circumstances change for the better a much greater intelligence than the mind takes over everything. And with that, a different quality of consciousness influences our actions. When you say yes to things as they are, you enter into harmony with the power and intelligence of life itself. Only then can you become an agent of positive change in the world when you start to pay attention to the now, a state of alertness is created. It is as if you are waking up from a dream, the dream of thought, the dream of the past and the future. It is so clear and so simple. There is no room left to create problems. There is only this moment just as it is.